Hi there, my name is Stephen and I am representing Steadymaker. We are looking at the Steadymaker Tank Plus, the latest in the line of Steadymaker stabilizers. Now, you may or may not know that about 80% of the world's stabilizers use the same control board. When I say control board, it's the heart of the stabilizer. This is what keeps the stabilizer straight and level and reacts to the way you move your stabilizer. Uh, there's a little printed circuit board inside the back here. Now, the first wave of stabilizers that came out were eight bit boards. This means they could run at a certain speed and maintain a certain level of corrections. Uh, most modern stabilizers now are upgrading to a 32 bit board. This means they have faster corrections, they can maintain um, a better straight and level perspective, and also you can use an inverted mode, which means you can essentially spin the rig upside down and it will still maintain a straight and level perspective for the camera. So the 32-bit boards are a little more expensive but also more useful. The Steadymaker Tank Plus, the reason it's called the Tank Plus is because it has a 32-bit board in it you can manually balance the gyros and the motors, the control board, with uh, a piece of software that I'm going to show you on my computer. This is called Simple BGC. One of the things that you need to remember with a stabilizer is every time you change your camera or your lens, if you go to a heavier camera or if you go to a different lens, a longer lens, for example, a zoom lens, uh, this will affect the balance of the camera in the cradle. Now, stabilizers are very good at compensating, but sometimes you will find when you switch from a lighter camera body to a heavier camera body or a much bigger lens that even your stabilizer will have issues balancing the camera in the cradle. Now, this is by no means uh, impossible to fix. One of the things to remember is when you buy your stabilizer, you have the option to tell Steadymaker, the company, which camera you are going to be using in the stabilizer. This means that they can pre-balance the stabilizer to match your camera. So if you have a GH3, for example, Panasonic, you can tell them, I use this for shooting and I use this particular lens most of the time, and they will balance it to compensate for that particular weight. Now, the range of weight that this stabilizer takes is between 800 grams and 2,500 grams. To give you a rough idea, uh, a GH3, the Panasonic, with a stock lens, a standard 14 to 45 millimeter lens, will run at the lower end of the scale. The body alone without the battery or lens runs at about 550 grams. So with the lens and the battery, you're on the low end of the scale. You're on about 800 grams. If you talk about a 5D Mark II body, then you're looking at about 820 grams. Again, that's without the lens, without the batteries. And with the 5D Mark II, the lenses and batteries tend to be much heavier. So it will run into the middle to the heavier side of the stabilizer range. So anywhere between 800 grams and 2,500 grams. If you do not notify Steadymaker when you buy the rig, they will balance it with their camera, which is a 5D Mark II, and they will use the stock lens that comes with the 5D Mark II. So you're looking at something that's balanced in about the mid middle of the range. Again, it can go heavier, it can go lighter, but what they will deliver is a stabilizer balanced at about the middle of that uh, weight range. If you use a much lighter camera, you might find that your stabilizer is not balanced optimally for use. Again, if you use a much heavier camera, you might have the same problems. Now, you can balance the camera in the cradle and you might still find issues with the way the motors are compensating or balancing your camera in the stabilizer. This is where the software comes in useful. This is called Simple BGC, which is Simple Brushless Gimbal Controller. Back in about 2012, Alexei Moskalenko developed some software. This would enable your average computer to talk to the control board inside your stabilizer via a mini USB port. 
Uh, this means that you can further customize and tweak the brushless gimbal motors to match your particular camera weight or balance. Uh, now, I recommend that you only do this if you cannot manually balance your camera. Now, I'm not going to give you a big guide to this software. The reason is there are many resources out there. In fact, there is now a company called Basecam that uh, has a forum for users to post any questions or problems. There are also YouTube tutorials. You can research and find very straightforward guides and layouts to manually stabilizing and resetting your brushless gimbal motors in your stabilizer. Again, I don't recommend it because you might actually find yourself in a worse off position than when you started. Another good reason for using Simple BGC is when you change your cameras or your lenses, you can save a different profile for each camera. So you can configure one profile, one balance for one camera, and then one profile, one balance for another. And then you just reload the new profile through a USB connection to your stabilizer. And this will reset the motors to support and balance your different camera setup. So I'm not going to give you a thorough guide. I'm just going to give you a brief look at um, Simple BGC and then give you some directions about where to go, some forums, some YouTube tutorials, if you want to research it more uh, on your own. Having said that, let's go ahead and connect up the camera to your laptop, your computer. I brought in my laptop for this demonstration. Uh, what you will need is a, a USB to mini USB cable. Um, now the mini USB, uh, this will be the port on your stabilizer and the USB will be into your computer. If you have a tablet, you can also use a mini USB to mini USB, for example. I have a mini USB jack here, and you will see in the side of your stabilizer a mini USB jack port. So you just connect the two together, and connect the other end to your computer. Okay, once it's connected, you will hear your stabilizer beep. This means that it's connected and you will also hear the default sound on your computer or your laptop to tell you that there's a driver being connected. So the first thing you want to do is go to basecamelectronics.com. This is the website that came out of Simple BGC. You can see you can even buy some 32-bit and 8-bit controllers on the website. But what we're going to do is look for the software that is going to communicate to your SteadyMaker tank. So if you look on the front page part of the new section you will see the new firmware available. Click on the link that will take you to the news page and then you can find the files to download on the downloads page. Now remember you have a 32-bit board so you're looking for the downloads for 32-bit boards not for the 8-bit although don't forget there is also a SteadyMaker tank which has an 8-bit board. So what you want to do is click on the uh, zip file that has the download. The latest version here is 2.50B3. Also the user manual, you will find that very, very useful. It gives you a complete guide to tuning your stabilizers and the gyros. Once this downloads to the computer, I will extract it. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I put it on my desktop. You can put it wherever you like. Just remember where you have extracted it to. When you open the folder, you will see a series of folders inside. Uh, the one you will need is simplebgcgui.exe, but also you will find another folder called firmware. This has the latest firmware that you can add to your rig. Now don't forget your stabilizer will come with whatever the firmware was that was used to balance the stabilizer in the factory when SteadyMaker was putting it together. But this will enable you to put the latest firmware onto the stabilizer. So we're going to run the EXE and you will see a control interface from Basecam Electronics. This is the main page for Simple BGC. Uh, you will find your pitch, your roll, and your yaw. 
these will give you real-time information about uh, how your your stabilizer gyros are oriented when you connect your stabilizer to your computer through the USB cable. Once we have connected your USB to your computer, you will hear the sound of the driver being automatically installed um, and connected to your computer. And then you can use the connection interface to connect your stabilizer to Simple BGC. When you connect your USB, you will find a virtual port established. COM4 is a virtual USB port. If you choose whatever virtual USB port turns up on the drop down menu and then hit connect, you will find that the board is now connected and it shows you what version your control board on your stabilizer is using. Also, you see the yaw, the roll, and the pitch is now working in real time. You can see the orientation of your stabilizer. Whenever you first connect, the best thing to do is save your current profile. This is the default profile that has been set up in SteadyMaker. You can already see that I've saved before new settings profile, but we'll just give it a new name here before changing and we'll save it to your computer. Now you are able to change any of the settings. If you make a mistake, you can load your profile, the one that you just saved. This will reset your stabilizer to its default settings. So I'm going to discard changes. And you see you can load up the profile you've previously saved and this will return your stabilizer to its default factory settings just in case you make any mistakes. So reading is transferring the information on simple BGC to the stabilizer and writing is putting new settings onto the stabilizer. Remember the motor configuration will be the most important. This is what you will probably make the setting changes on. The roll pitch and your power will change how much power is fed to each gimbal on your stabilizer. The number poles, you would keep them the same. There's 14 for each motor. And don't forget when you've changed your settings, you hit the right button and that will transfer. When you've finished, disconnect from simple BGC and this will then you can remove your USB cable and continue operation with your stabilizer. As I said, this is not a exhaustive guide. This is just a general guide for the usage of simple BGC. There are plenty of other resources on the internet for using it in depth. In fact, if you look at the website, we can go to the forum and this is where you will find other users information about using gimbals and settings on stabilizers. If you have any questions, if you're not sure, this is a good place to start. Also, don't forget you can contact SteadyMaker and we will do our best to help you. Don't forget the manual as well. When you download Simple BGC, you will have a PDF manual option. Uh, again, a very good place to look through the basics of manually setting your stabilizer gimbal motors. This has a lot of detailed information about all the different kinds of settings that you can use through Simple BGC.